Hey guys, I'm here at Target for the weekly deals. Let's see what we can hustle this week. Please consider supporting my small business. The link to my website, My Beloved's Market, is in the description box below this video. I sell pharmaceutical grade vitamins by Neutralite. These slay the day B vitamin chews are so good. They're like a taffy candy and they're great when you're on the go and you just need a little bit of a boost. So are these excess energy drinks. These are great. They have zero sugar and they're made with aptogenic herbs and they include B vitamins as well. The protein powder is so good. It's also sugar free and the vanilla is my favorite flavor. It's great when mixed with coffee for a protein coffee. Um, the double X multivitamin is the best multivitamin that I've ever taken and the gummies are so good. They taste like gumdrops. We also have beauty products by Artistry as well as household cleaners by Amway. Please register as a customer or you can check out as a guest. Sign up for Amperks if you want to get coupons and you get free shipping on orders over $100. It would really help out me and my family if y'all would become one of my customers. So please put in your order today. All right, guys, this week they have the household promotion at Target. Y'all know I love when they have this deal. Um, it's spend $50 on household products, get $15 in Target gift card. I actually have already done this transaction and I'm refilming because I got the math wrong. Um, we have a lot going into this and you can do so many different things for this, but I'm going to show you guys what I did. So I picked up the 7th generation laundry soap that's priced at $13.99. I picked up the Dawn Power Wash, priced at $8.49. I picked up the Clorox Disinfecting Mist, priced at $6.89. The Clorox Toilet Wand, priced at $12.39. And the Clorox Ultra Foamer Bath Cleaner, that's $5.99. And then the Charmin Wipes, priced at $4.49. The total came to $52. 24 so we are over our $50 here we had a 10% target circle on the seventh generation laundry soap that took off a dollar 39 I also found a two dollar hang tag coupon um, and that did scan just fine at the register so that was really cool we also have a three dollar rebate coming back on the seventh generation on shopkick on the Clorox Disinfecting Mist, we're going to get back $2 from Ibotta and $0.20 cents from Shopkick. On the Clorox Wand, I had a $3 Target Circle Digital Coupon. Let's talk about the Dawn Power Wash. We have a $3.50 coupon on that on our Target Circle app. And if it would have come off, that would have been a way better deal. But I also had a 50 cent coupon for a Dawn. And of course, the 50 cent coupon came off even though when I scanned this, the, it was showing the $3.50 coupon. So I was kind of bummed about that because my total would have been a lot better if the $3.50 coupon had come off. But honestly, I still had a really good deal with everything that I did, so I'm just not going to worry about it. I had a 25 cent coupon on Target Circle for the Charmin Wipes. 
and we are getting back three dollars on Shopkick for the Clorox Ultra Foamer bathroom cleaner. So after the Target Circle coupons and the one hang tag coupon, we're going to pay $45.10. We're going to roll a $15 Target gift card from last week and pick up our new $15 Target gift card. The rolling total is going to come to $18.35. And then we, after we submit for our rebates, $2 coming back from Ibotta and 20 cents from Shopkick on that one. Three dollars back for the seventh generation and the Clorox Ultra Foamer bathroom cleaner on Shopkick. That's what it is. But after our rebates, our rolling total is gonna come down to six dollars and ninety cents for all seven items or ninety-eight cents each. So I thought that was a really good deal. Obviously, it would have been better if the $3.50 coupon had come off the Dawn. I really wouldn't have bought that otherwise. But when you're rolling and everything, we had some really good rebates today. It worked out to be $0.98 cents each, and I think that that's a great deal. We have a rebate on Ibotta for $4 back on one of these bigger bags of potting mix. Um, it has to be the specialty blend though and they don't carry that at my store but I just want to let y'all know in case they have it at yours um, because that one would be a really good deal. Um, since they don't have that one I'm just going to pick up the smaller bag. It's priced at $6.99. I should get back 20% on Fetch Rewards, that'll be $1.30 back, and then I will also get $1.50 back from Ibotta, bringing it down to $4.19, and I do need this for an event. We're going to be planting some flowers for the ministry, so um, I'm going to pick this up. All right, I need these for some little goodie bags for our ministry. These are priced at $6.89. We have a 15% target circle. It's going to take them down to $3.31. All right, my breakfast bundle on Shopkick has reset, so I'm super pumped about this. This is a good deal. The Oscar Mayer hardwood smoked bacon is $6.69. The Heinz tomato ketchup is $2.79. I am going to try and pick up the smaller size this time and see if it works. When I was doing the bundles before, the size didn't seem to matter, so I'm hoping that this one will count. And then the craft singles, those are priced at $4.49. The total is going to come to $13.97. And then I'm going to get back $5.40 from Shopkick. I'm going to get back $1.25 on Ibotta for the bacon. So the total rolling is going to come to $7.32 for all three after our rebates or $2.44 each. I have a $1.25 rebate back on this Ozarka on Ibotta. It's going to take it down to $3.00. We have a $3 Target Circle on Community Coffee. It's going to take this down to $4.29. Alright y'all, I'm back at home and this is my Target haul from today. This haul went really, really well. This is about $100 worth of stuff. Um, I did have quite a bit in gift card rolling into this transaction because if you remember last week I tried to use my digital, I mean my paper coupons, uh, my printables at Target and they did not work and so um, the man working at customer service had to give me the value of those in gift cards. Um, but let's see. It's weird because sometimes the digital coupons show up at the bottom of the receipt, but this time they didn't. It said I only used 75 cents in digital coupons, and I was like, whoa, that's weird. 
Um, I know I used a lot more than that. So it shows that they come off underneath each item on some of them, which is strange because I'm used to it just telling me at the bottom of the receipt, but um, when I noticed that, I had noticed about the Dawn Power Wash coupon not coming off because it took the value of the lesser coupon that I had clipped on the smaller sizes of Dawn. And sometimes with digital coupons in certain systems, it will do that. Like I know at Walgreens, if you do not unclip the smaller valued coupons, it will take those off first before it will take the larger value coupons. And that's super annoying. I get really annoyed when that happens, like today. Um, but that's okay because, you know, you just got to roll with the punches when you're rolling sometimes. Um, sometimes you can go to customer service and they'll fix stuff for you, but uh, today I didn't have enough time and I figured since that's something that um, you can just be aware of and make sure that you don't have the smaller value coupon clip to your account, so I just wanted to talk about that. So if you guys try and do that deal, just make sure that you have only the $3.50 coupon clipped because a $3 coupon is a really good coupon, you know? But anyways, um, besides that, my coupons went fine. The hang tag coupon on the 7th generation scanned in the system. So I really think that the hang tag coupons are working fine at Target. It's just the printables that I've been having trouble with there. I have been focusing more on doing digitals and rebate combinations because of that issue with the printable coupons, so I'm probably going to continue doing that. I was able to get my $30 bonus that I was trying to get last week, so I'm saving that to use that like maybe next week or something. Um, but yeah, I used, let's see, I had a $3 digital for the Clorox that came off. And then the 50 cent and the 25 cent and then the $2 hang tag for the 7th generation. I used a $10 gift card from Shopkick on this transaction and $30 in Target gift card that I had from my transaction last week. I was able to bring the total down to $45.16 at the register, which is really good. I got back $7.25 from Ibotta. I got back $11.60 from Shopkick, which is really, really nice. Um, I really, I've been loving Shopkick. I'm newer to Shopkick. I've only been using it for about a year and a half or so. Um, I started out with just Ibotta and then Fetch Rewards and then Shopkick. Um, but I have considered using coupons.com since the printables aren't really working as well. But right now as it is, I'm using about four apps to do all this. And for me, that's a lot. Like, I don't really feel like adding another one. If I have to in the future, I might, but for right now, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Um, I did get back the $15 in Target gift card for the household promotion this week. So everything that you see here became a rolling total of $11.31. And I think that's really good. I am super happy with that. This, um, you know, to get $100 of stuff for 11 makes me so happy. It would have been a little bit better had that $3.50 coupon worked, but I'm not complaining because I think that with the amount that I've been saving um, on stuff that we use and we need, I think that I'm doing good. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a great week. 
And I hope you all get a chance to hit up that household deal at Target. Remember that Jesus loves you and he has a purpose for your life. And I love you all too. Thanks for watching my videos and I'll catch you all next week. Bye guys.